Okay, hello. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's actually play some drum beats. So this video is only going to be for a select amount of people. Okay, I don't want to record one video that goes out to everybody because that's not really very fair. Everybody's at different sort of varied skill levels. Some people have been doing it for longer than others as well. Okay, so this video is just going to be catered for one particular group of people. I'm going to record five or six of these different ones for all the different skill levels. Okay. So this is a pretty good group. We have Kurt P3 Leadhill. We have Emily. Uh, we have Rex Burns in Kirkcubbin Integrated Primary School. We have Matthew Prentice in Bally Walter. Christina Matheson in Leadhill. Caleb McFarland in Portavogie Primary School. We also have Ayla from um, Kirkcubbin Integrated Primary School. We have Mia in Bally Walter, Ruby Adair in Leadhill, and Reese in Abbey Primary School. Okay, so along with this email, you guys would have got um, some worksheets sent through as well. Now, I'm sorry, you can't see that very well. You can't see it at all on this camera, I'm sorry. But there will be three sheets sent through and they'll be numbered one, two, and three. Okay, sheet three, is a breakdown of music notes. So we may have touched on this. I think we might have just looked at it once and we haven't really worked on music notes, but we'll be trying to do a bit more um, by using these videos. So let me put this up to the camera and see really quickly which sheet I'm talking about. So it's just the music notes. And what it does is it explains what all the notes are and what drums they should be, okay? It's pretty easy. If you imagine music notes when you see them written out like stairs. So the lower, the very bottom stair is the deepest and the lowest drum. So that would be the bass drum. That's the deepest and lowest one. And as they go up the stairs, the sound gets higher. So on the very top, you'll see X's on the top and they will be hi-hats and cymbals because they're the highest sort of sound. And as you work your way up, the drums get higher as well, okay? But we'll go into that in more depth in the next couple of weeks. What I'd like to do is work on the sheet that's labeled one, okay? Now, I'm not gonna play this on a drum kit. I'm gonna just play this on our knees and explain what goes where. So if you have a drum kit, brilliant. I'll also try and play it on a practice pad in case you just have a practice pad or a bucket or a box or whatever it is you've made your drum kit out of, okay? so. There's two things written down on this. There's two lines, two bars, two staves. So they're going to look at the very top one. And the top one is quarter notes. And I keep trying to turn this around to show you, but I don't think you can see it very well. Okay, so we're going to work on this top one here. Okay, these are quarter notes. So for quarter notes, what you do is you only count on the beat. So we'll play along to metronomes. We'll do metronomes next week, but we'll play along to the beat, which will be one, two, three, Four, okay, which means you only play quarter notes on the beat the one the two the three and the four Now you can play different things on Each note so for example on one you don't just have to play one drum and on two It's just one drum. No, you can add some together So if you see what's written down the very very top line is just little X's and those are hi-hats Okay so if you have your drum kit, the hi-hat is the one with the two cymbals that go up and down, that's your hi-hat there. If you're using um, just your knees like me, it'll be your right hand on your right knee, that's your hi-hat, or your right hand on the practice pad, that can be your hi-hat. One, two, three, four, okay? Now if you look at it, alongside that, just below it, you will see a note at the very bottom. That's the bass drum. So if you see above and below each other, it means you play them at the same time. Okay, all coming back to you now. Do you sort of remember it a little bit, hopefully? Okay, we didn't work on it. So if you don't remember, don't worry. We've only just touched on this. But now we're gonna kind of pick up a little bit more because we know how to play this drum beat. We've done this drum beat before. This is one of the first ones we ever learned. So now we're gonna try and put it to what's written down. Okay, rather than learning a whole new drum beat, which would be really complicated. We're just going to work with what we've already got written down, okay? So the first note is going to be the hi-hat and the bass drum together. So you're going to use your right hand and your right foot at the same time. So that's going to be one, yeah? Hi-hat and bass at the same time. 
one. And then beside that, it's a different note. Again, it's still a hi-hat, but the next note is the snare. So that goes both hands. So your left hand should be your left knee is your snare. Your right hand's here. So if you want to imagine like a drum kit, you always remember, rainbow, you put your right hand over the top, okay? So if you want to cross your hands here, you can. If you want to use one here like this, you can. Whatever way you want to do it, whatever's comfortable for you, whatever way you have your kit set up, okay? Remember, this is totally your kit. No one's is going to be the same as yours, which is also cool, isn't it? Like everyone has a guitar, they're all the same, aren't they? They might look slightly different in different bodies, but they all have to be tuned the same way pretty much. Drums, you can have drums everywhere. Everywhere you want, there can be drums. Brrr. All right, so one, it's gonna be hi-hat and bass. Two, it's gonna be hi-hat and snare. Then three, as you'll see, is the same as one. It's hi-hat and bass again. And then four, it's the same as two, hi-hat and snare. So if you watch your way through the top line, you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little combinations. Bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare. And the hi-hat goes with each one. So hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare. So if you're playing that on a kit, it'll be this way around. Hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare. If you're just using your hands, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, okay? So that's one, two, three, four. So if we haven't got a metronome set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little part of the video that you can pause and rewind and keep playing through. All I'm gonna do is count to eight, and I'm gonna do that four times. Once you get to the end of that, you can pause the video and you can rewind back to when I start clicking and counting one to eight. And you can keep practicing it that way. So you can do as many times as you want and then you can continue the video, okay? So when you're gonna scroll back in the video and you're trying to find the part, look for when my hands are going like this, okay? That's a brilliant chat. So you can go back and see this person go, that's when you know you can start the count. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you can pause the video now and rewind and practice that as many times as you want. If you've got that, then we can move on to the second part. Okay, good. Second part is, if you look down, you'll see the only thing that's changed is how many X's there are. Do you notice that? So the top one, there's one, two, three, four X's in each bar. Now, there's eight X's in each bar. That's eight hi-hats in each bar, okay? So, these are eighth notes. So the first ones are quarters, these are eighth notes, okay? Now, eighth notes, you count them slightly differently. You don't go one, two, three, four. You go one and two and three and four and, okay? That's eight, Woo all right? So, same thing, bass drum's gonna go on what number? Uno, one. And the snare drum is still gonna go on dos, do, two. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go hi-hat and bass, hi-hat, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat. So that is one and two and three and four and. All right, so if you want, you can rewind the video back to the part where I was doing the clicks. One, two, three, four. And what you'll do there, playing along to that speed, is on one, you're still playing hi-hat and bass, then you're doing a hi-hat in between. Then hi-hat and snare for two, then a hi-hat in between, yeah? So while I'm going one, two, three, four, you're going one and two and three and four and. Cool? Okay, very good. Now. Those are the two things I want you to work on, so feel free to rewind, go ahead, whatever you wanna do, okay? But until next time, 
I'll see you later. You look at and it tells you what notes are where they are on the stave, okay? And that's what voice and what drums they do. The second page is this one, the one we just did with the two different lines. Again, I'm sorry if you can't see it very well. I'll try and fix this in the future. So you have the two different bars, the quarter notes and the eighth notes, okay? The third one, now I only want you to try this if you think you're ready, okay? Don't rush into it, because I don't want you to go, I can't do it, I'm so annoying, I hate this, okay? So only if you've nailed those other two. If they're so easy you could do them in your sleep, that's when you know you can move on to this, okay? You've got a whole week, you don't have to get it all done in one go, by the way. You can take as long as you want, all right? So the last one is this. Now this is just a slightly harder version of that beat, okay? So if you're ready for it, you go hi-hat and bass, hi-hat, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and bass, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat and snare, okay? So all you're doing is changing the second part of that. One and two and three and four and. Bass is on one, then and. Snare is on two, then hi-hat for and. Hi-hat and bass for three, hi-hat and bass for and. Hi-hat and snare for four, and hi-hat and snare for and, okay? But I want you to, we're gonna work on that again next week, but mostly I want you to try and work on those two things that I showed you, okay? So you've got plenty to get on with. You've got to make your own drum kit. You've got to try and find a time where you're gonna do it and practice, when you're gonna practice. You have to commit to doing it, and then I want you to work on these two things. Got it? Brilliant, I'll see you next week. Okay, just one more thing. So if you're having a lot of trouble with this, what we're gonna do is on Friday, I'm gonna have some available time. So if you guys want to get your mum or dad to set up a Skype call, or we can try doing it on Google Hangouts, Microsoft Hangouts, whatever it is, or good old fashioned phone call, then you can get your mum and dad to be with you, and we can do a voice call, you can put you on loudspeaker, and we can help out. Okay, and I'll be able to talk you through it because I don't want anyone to get stuck. Okay, and as I said it as well, I don't want you to rush through this and go, oh, I can kind of get it. Okay, I want you to make sure you've got it right and you've never really got something right until you're super duper bored of doing it over and over again. That's the only way you've got it right. If you're still kind of thinking about it or worrying about it, you haven't really got it right. Okay, so any trouble, get your mum or dad um, or whoever it is you live with, granny, granny, big brothers, sisters, guardians, whoever it is, get them to give me a wee email or a text and we can set up a time for me to help you out with it as well. All right? I hope you're having a good time off school. I hope you're not totally bored. I'm gonna have some great ideas for what we can do over the next couple of weeks. All right? And I'm looking forward to seeing how you're all getting on. Okay? Rock on. See you later.